everybody, welcome back to Edina Vlog. I'm your host Josh Spray with Edina Realty in Edina, Minnesota, number one place on earth. This is episode number 17, the second of 2012, and I want to thank you for supporting the show. Uh, today we're in the wonderful Brucewood neighborhood. We're going to do a neighborhood tour, Facebook question of the week, market update, and of course an interview with a local business. So behind me you might notice this house. We uh, interviewed the builder, Scott Buson from Great Neighborhood Homes in a previous episode, back when it was still, still being built, and now you get to see that beautiful finished product. So come along with me for the show. So this week's neighborhood tour is in Bruce Wood. It's a great little pocket neighborhood that goes along the creek, it includes Arden Avenue, Bruce Avenue, and Bruce Place. About 60 homes, storybook homes. The two-story colonials, the one and a half stories, lots of natural stone on the front, and just a very walkable area. Of course, adjacent to 50th in France, so people love it. It's one of my favorite places in the entire city. Average price, because of all those amenities, about a million dollars. Uh, you can tear down a house for 550 to 600 and rebuild for 1.5 million and above. And one uh, thing to note about the neighborhood that you might remember if you live in Edina is the house at 5000 Arden that blew up due to a gas leak just a couple years ago. Well, the house has been rebuilt, the family survived, and uh, good news all the way around. On to the Facebook question of the week, which is, what is your favorite spring break destination? Now, it's only February, but I'm telling you, I'm already thinking about March with this very mild weather we've been having. Uh, the most popular answer was Florida, whether it's East Coast, West Coast, Sanibel, uh, Miami. Uh, there's a lot of people that like to go to Fort Myer, Pensacola. Seems to be the most popular destination for the Minnesota residents. Uh, Mexico came up as well. Most exotic answer was Brazil. Go figure. Anyhow, thanks to all my viewers out there who are participating in this Facebook question of the week. So on to the market news, our very first report for 2012. Two things I want to show you. First one is here. This is a historical chart of medium price. The Adina housing market's in red, Twin Cities housing market in gray. You'll see in 2009, that was when we had our big crash. We dropped about 20% in one year. A little bit later than everybody else, but the recession unfortunately did get to Adina as well. And then you'll see we start to fight our way back. And in January of 2011, we actually start to flatten out uh, another word for that is stabilize in terms of our median housing price while the Twin Cities housing market continues to decline. Last year housing market in uh, Twin Cities 10% drop. A Dyna housing market median price basically year over year was exactly the same. Now in the start of January 2012, take a look at these statistics. Median price and average price up quite a bit. Now it's only the first month so we can't uh, make any big conclusions from this quite yet. But one thing that is remarkable uh, is the number of sales. We have 40 sales year to date, last year 31. I think that shows increased buyer demand uh, for Edina. That's going to help to keep the market strong throughout the year and keep median price growing. It might not grow like it did back in the 2000s. but uh, uh, if we can keep things stable and grow at 1% to 3% a year, I think that's that will bode well for our uh, housing market in general. So I will keep you informed as things develop over the next year. This week, we're down at 44th and France Business District in one of my favorite places, Gear Running Store. We're going to do a quick tour of the store and talk to the owner, Paul Horan. Come along. Well, it's great to be here with our business of the month, which is Gear Running Store in Edina at 44th and France. And I'm here with longtime owner Paul Horan. Paul, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Wanted to give a little bit of history on the shop and how you got started in this business. Well, I used to run for the Gear Running Store team for many years and was a customer here during that time. And towards the end of the previous ownership, you know, the inventory levels were dwindling and I just inquired one day what was going on, and he had other businesses that he was working on, and I think he kind of lost focus a little bit here, and, mm -hmm. and so I asked if he was selling, and sure enough, he was, and that's how that all started. So and when was that? That was uh, three years ago. Okay. Yeah. And um, I hooked up with some good friends. One is a uh, Kieran Folliard, who's a Irish pub uh, of Irish pub fame in town. Okay. And he was my main advisor through this whole process, and he was wonderful. I mean, he gave me some ideas that you know it really helped us kind of change the store, and we really wanted to change the focus here. And I think we've I think we've accomplished that. <laughs> so, what was the the focus change? Well, the first thing I wanted to do when when we first took over the there were logos all over the walls. All the benches were Nike, Asics, Saucony, 
everything had a logo on it. So I decided to take everything that has a logo down unless it was a local business. Okay. So we just wanted to change, have a whole different atmosphere. So we put up artwork from local artists over, you can see some of the paintings over there. All of our record albums are walking and running themes are framed up on the on the ceiling. And the books or too, the I wall. see. And the books. And yeah. yeah, so there are logos on the shoe shelves, but that's it. And then okay. if, the, if the local company, like Fitzak, for example, it has a local company sign on it. And your headband, the headband maker gets, it says, made locally. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we just wanted to kind of encourage that kind of mentality and yep. and not play favorites. And it, it, it's, been, it's been a fun little atmosphere. It's a fun place to be. And in terms of product, what do you think gear is best known for? Well, we definitely have a, a very strong niche in the natural running market. We have the largest selection of natural running shoes in the upper Midwest, and by that, um, it kind of encompasses a fairly broad range, but like Vibram Five Fingers would fall into that. That would be on the minimalist end of natural running. Yep. Merrill Trail Shoes, again, all zero drop shoes, very, very flat. But shoes like Newton, which is a fabulous line for us, they are very flat, but they've got more on the sole. So anything that has less heel, that encourages more of a natural gait, and it seems to be where the business is these days. I mean, it's a big part of what we do. So coming up to this moment in the industry, shoemakers are making these kind of ramped, big, cushiony shoes just to try to fit the universal, mm -hmm. the average, average foot, and didn't really pay attention to the people that, that running form right. and trying to encourage good running form by being on the fronts of your feet. Mm -hmm. And so this, all this new product is is working towards encouraging people to run in the right in the right way that's more efficient and more effective. Yeah, it, it's, it's actually harkening back to the way shoes used to be in the '60s. Last summer, I spent some time with Frank Shorter out in Boulder, and he said that when this whole movement started, when the heeled cushioned shoes came in in the 70s, he was still running in racing flats. He just it didn't make any sense because all these guys were running in these flat shoes, used to running with good form, and suddenly these heavily heeled shoes that encourage more heel strike came out, and they felt awkward. Yeah. So there's always been this group of people that have been, you know, in that camp. Yeah. And now it just seems like everyone is at least intrigued by it, and we're seeing a big you know, increase in our business because of this new footwear. Now the other the other specialty is you you have a lot of winter running gear. I mean I came here, I got a Segoy awesome full body suit that's mm -hmm. been really wonderful for me and mittens and everything else. So tell us a little bit about the year round running gear that you have here. Yeah, and that's that was another area we wanted to distinguish ourselves. Uh, because not a lot of shops in town have Segoy or Kraft, uh, or even Smartwell for that matter. You can find the basic running brands in most stores, but I just thought it would be nice to have some really high-end, nice quality merchandise yeah. that lasts and looks great and it just, and just kind of distinguishes us from the other stores. So we just yeah. wanted to create a niche that wasn't out there. Yeah, it's I've hard to do in this industry, as you can imagine. So. But I mean, I've even been to REI, which mm -hmm. is the outdoor specialist, and they, have, they had nothing like this. I mean, this, what I liked about this gear was it was discreet, kind of low profile, but very functional, very mm -hmm. warm, almost like more like uh, Nordic gear, but for runners. And just I, I've enjoyed lightweight. You know, has the fashion, looks good, which is never a, a negative. Right. So um, I just I thought that was so great. Your lines are are incredible here. So. Well, thank you very yeah. much. That was my background actually, retail clothing before this. So, okay. Yeah. So I have a now it experience it. there. <laughs> So uh, tell me, what do you like best about doing business in this location in Edina? Well, I, I grew up here, so that's a big thing for me. I mean, I know a lot of the neighbors around here. Morningside, or? Well, we were over, kind of. We okay. were more over towards like 50th and, or 59th and, you know, where Pamela Park is okay. over that area. Yep, yep. So not too far, yep. but a lot of my friends grew up back here, so it's like old home week here. <laughs> And now their kids are shopping. You know, a lot of the, a lot of their kids are my ki friends' kids are you know high school track. So we see it's just it's just a fun atmosphere, and the people here are all very friendly. It's a it's yes. a nice quaint little neighborhood. Most people walk here, which is great. Um, though you know, there's plenty of parking in the back and on the roads, but and you got a loyal customer base back in the Adina neighborhoods here. Mm -hmm. Okay. In fact, we when I was looking at Newton running, for example, I, our rep told me, and it could have been a line, but he <laughs> said that um, the number one zip code for online sales was 55424, which is right there. Wow. So, <laughs> so that uh, definitely encouraged my decision. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we want to thank you for your time and giving us some of the background. Um, I, it's, this is my favorite running store now. Well, thank and you uh, very hope much. it will become for all the viewers out there. I encourage you to stop by and take a look if you like to run year-round or if you're looking for 
better shoes than the average thing you get out there in some of those retail um, outlets. Come check it out, and thanks again, and Thank look you very forward much. to your continued success. Anytime. Thank you. <laughs> well, almost at the end of another show. Easy to do. Time flies on a beautiful day like today. Before I go, I wanted to show you this. Uh, this is an ad I have running. It says, have you heard it's a bad time to sell? Maybe you're talking to the wrong people. And maybe you are. I had a great year in 2011, got fantastic results from my sellers here in Edina and elsewhere, and would be happy to do the same for you in 2012. Just give a call anytime. I'm happy to come out and see your home. Thanks again for joining me. Look forward to seeing you here next time on Edina Vlog.